everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am running late with this video. Um, I didn't do it or mean to do it on purpose, but I was trying to decipher what I wanted to do and then I ended up moving my setup around. So yes, now I'm in a different spot in the house to try to get my work done. But with that being said, I'm rambling on. I did say that my next video was be on, would be on, yes, would be on diapers. So I did want to get one thing sort of done first before we started actually making diapers because if you're going to be, um, if you have any questions in regards how I put two pieces, separate pieces of fabric together for diapers, I'm actually going to be showing that today. I'm a little scattered right now, um, a little giddy because I'm like, ice cream. So yes. But with that being said, I'm going to show you how to do, I think it's called French seam on the PUL fabric. So you can go ahead and use it on your diapers and you can make a really pretty diaper using two different fabrics. You can use this for many other fabrics as well. It doesn't have to be just for the diapers. This is something I learned to do and I do it for embroidery purposes. Embroidery. embroidery. Yes. So when I want to do embroidery, I actually want a either um, just a plain fabric on the top, which would be the back of the diaper for the baby. That's what we're gonna do today. I do have one piece pre-cut, but I'm gonna show you the rest of it, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. As I mentioned, I do have one of the pieces already of fabric pre-cut, but you will be needing the following. The fabric that you're gonna use for the front, which I already have right here. You're also gonna need the fabric that you're going to use for the back. For the purpose of this embroidery, I'm actually going to be using just solid white. This is gonna be the back piece where it's gonna have the embroidery. For the pattern, you're going to go ahead and select the one of your choice. It doesn't have to be the one I'm using. This is a paid pattern. I will be linking down below where I purchased this from. I believe it's still a pattern that you pay for. I do not know if they made any changes to it, but from the one that I have, I really love. I have this already cut and taped together, but as you can see, you know, mine's been through a lot. You're also going to need scissors, a cutter if you don't have one. The first step will be to go ahead and cut your pieces. So you need two pieces of fabric. Right now I have this one pre-cut. That's gonna be the front where the snaps are going to go. This is what you're gonna see on the front side for the baby. The next step will be to cut the back side, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I haven't done that just yet. Okay. So for the backing, if this is where the embroidery is gonna go, I went ahead and outlined this piece right here. I did this for myself. You can do the same, or you can just go ahead and measure and cut it. I just find it that this will save you time. It's gonna be a lot easier. All you're gonna do is cut one piece of this, and once you have that together, we're gonna to go ahead and move on to the second step. <laughs> have both pieces cut you're gonna see that one seems to be longer than the other and one's shorter than the other again this is going to be the front side of the diaper this is going to be the back side of the diaper this is where you want your embroidery I have measured to make sure that I have enough seam allowance to go ahead and do the French seam and cut the pattern out next what you're gonna to need to do is go ahead and take these two pieces and find the center now I do want to say if you have a pattern that only goes one way, you want to make sure that you do this correctly because otherwise you're going to have an upside down print on the front side of the diaper. But because this tends to go either way, you don't have to necessarily worry about that too much. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So use clips or pins. It's going to be a fairly easy step to do. All you're going to do is fold both of these in half and clip them together. So let me just grab my pins real quick and we'll go ahead and take care of that. you have to be careful you have to make sure that you put these pieces together correctly so as you can see I have them folded in half and what you want to do is take these half and put them one on top of another and clip them together the second thing you want to look out for is that you're putting these together correctly otherwise you have to start over and you have to take the thread out and redo the step so what you want to do is you want to make sure that your shiny sides are touching each other so this is what's going to be in the inside and your actual fabric the fabric print it's going to be on the outside as well as the same thing here. You want to make sure that the fabric that goes on the outside is facing on the outside. So once you have them together by the center, all I do is actually just open them right up. And this is what it actually tends to look like once you have it opened. And in this step, you can actually go ahead and put another clip here and here, or just go ahead and take it to a sewing machine just like this. But for the purpose of the video, I'm actually going to go ahead and put a clip here and I'm going to hold this together myself. So this is what the fabric's looking like now. 
Again, it's optional if you want to put one here. I'm just going to hold this together myself. So I have two clips and the shiny side of both fabrics are actually in the inside touching one another. Once you're ready to go and get sewing, go ahead and take this over to your sewing machine. I'm actually going to go ahead and get my sewing machine ready. Good. Next up will be to go ahead and align your fabric with your sewing machine. I do my own French seam the way that I kind of like it better. You can make it a little wider or a little shorter. It's up to you. I go ahead and set mine right next to the line right here, which would be the third line. You see that this is the middle one. This is the other line right here. I do not align it with the foot right here. I just keep it right along here. And all you're going to do is go ahead and put a straight stitch all the way down through here. All right, so I didn't record the steps, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. I literally just put a straight stitch all the way across. And as I mentioned, I align it with the marking right up in here on the foot. And this is what it looks like now. So your fabric is all together. So once you fold this forward, what you want to make sure is that you go ahead and make sure that what you're seeing is actually the edges and not extra fabric. So you can go ahead and have a nice clean stitch. Once again, you're going to do a straight stitch on this. So again, all I'm doing is just making sure that the seams are where I just put that stitch, it's what you're actually having at the end right here. So this is what the diaper looks like now. As you can see, I just went ahead and put the clips in there just to kind of help out. The best way to do this step is to go ahead and turn your diaper this way. And again, all you're doing is putting a straight stitch through here. So what I do is for the next stitch, I go ahead and align it to where I feel this right here, just slightly below that. So when you're doing your second straight stitch, you're going to sew right just underneath there and it's gonna create a casing for this right here. Once you have it lined up, all you're gonna do is a straight stitch, you're gonna go all the way down. You have to make sure that you do not catch the fabric that's sitting in the inside of this right here. You wanna put the stitch just right below it, but do not actually stitch over it, because then you're gonna have a seam that is exposed. So you can see this is what the diaper looks like now. The seam has been encased in, and now when you look on the back side of this, you can feel that it's actually in there, but it's not exposed. The next step is going to be to go ahead and put a straight stitch once again all the way across from here. Now on this part, it's going to be up to you how you want where and how far from this seam right here you want to put your stitch. I like to put it kind of fairly close to it because I like the look of that. You can put it in the middle as long as I as long as you get a stitch through here then it's going to go ahead and keep your fabric laying down otherwise your diaper is going to look like this and it's not going to look very nice and I don't know if it's going to impact the function of the diaper either so you want to make sure that you at least do the straight stitch right here so that will be the final step for this and then we're going to go ahead and cut it once you're at the very last step which is the last stitch you're going to put right here what you want to be careful is where the seam is facing so you can either have it facing this way or that way what you want to do is make sure that the back seam that's back here is actually facing this direction. That way when you lay this fabric down, this is what's going to be on top. I do align the fabric with the middle line right here. If you see that mine is blue, it's because I actually took a permanent marker and marked it to see it a little bit better. It's just personal preference. I think the prior one I did nail polish, whatever came my way, that's what I marked it with and that actually stained. What I do is I go ahead and align it with the center here. I did move my needle over to 1.5 because I want it closer to the edge and if you want to have a kind of like a nice straight lined or stitch you can go ahead and go slowly and will give you a beautiful stitch or if you're more confident you can just go ahead and do it quickly but it all depends on your level or how confident you feel again all you're doing is making sure that the seam on the inside is actually facing this way you're folding this over and you're going to align it however you like, but I actually have mine here in the middle, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a straight stitch here. Once you go ahead and pull this out from the sewing machine, this is what's going to look like. As you can see, the fabric's nice and together. It's been encased on the back as well. If you see the back, you should see two sets of stitches back there, both of them straight. And on the front, you should only see the one, and you can see it's a beautiful straight stitch. So if you go slower, you can actually get it all even. If you go a little bit faster, the fabric might move a little bit on you if you don't have a good grip on it. But this is what our one piece now looks like, and this is actually ready to be cut for your pattern. I'm going to be making a cover out of this. 
So let me go ahead and pull the um, pattern out and let me go ahead and just kind of change the settings a little bit and we'll be right back. So once you're done with the sewing machine, this is what your fabric should look like. You started with two separate pieces and then at the end you should have all one piece. And at the seam, you should see only one stitch going all the way across. On the back, you're going to see that the seams have actually been sealed together, so there's no exposed edges. So you can see they're actually encased in. Now the next step will be to go ahead and cut the pattern out of this. So what I'm going to do is going to pull out my uh, lovely beta pattern, but it's been a fantastic pattern. Once again, that's going to be linked down below. As I mentioned, I do make my patterns to be perfectly fitting on here, as close as can be really. I do have, it doesn't look like it, but I do have some a little bit of fabric here on the side, and I also have fabric here on the side, as well as just a little bit of fabric here and at the other end. I do that on purpose, I try not to waste that much fabric, and the only pieces left, it's actually going to be these little pieces here on the side and a little bit on the top. So the final step will be to go ahead and cut this. Put the markings all on it and go ahead and get it for embroidery if you're doing embroidery or if you just want to leave it plain like this some people like it that way you can also do that some people just paint on it do a bunch of other things but with that being said let's go ahead and cut this out So before you run with the pattern, what you want to make sure is that you actually put on the markings on here. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to come back and do that later on. But for the purpose of the video, I actually want to show you what it looks like just now. Again. So this is what the diaper piece now looks like. So now you have your front piece of the diaper and the back connected all together. As you can see here, you have your French seam and it looks all nice and beautiful and clean. On the back, once again, it's nice and clean, they're secure and you actually won't get any exposed edges because you did that step right there. You should see two sets of stitches right here but only one at the front and you have your beautiful print at the front where you're going to put all your snaps and as you can see when the diaper is actually all done, this is what it should look like and because this print goes either way, I don't have to worry about making sure that the print was facing either up or down correctly but as you can see I have most of them actually going up, just some going sideways, so it actually worked out pretty well. And this is your diaper piece. Now this is ready for snaps, embroidery, and sewing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a final look at our diaper. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you made it all the way to the end. That is all done. As you can see, it's basically three straight, straight stitches and it actually gets all the pieces together. The one thing that you actually want to make sure is that you're actually putting them facing correctly from start to finish. That way you don't have to restart the whole process. So with that being said and done, this is what it actually looks like now. So you have your print for the front where the snaps will go. This is the backing where the embroidery is gonna be. And I actually gotta find a beautiful embroidery to go along with this. I haven't picked one just yet, but I'm sure I'll find something that goes along with this really well. Again, this one's going to be a cover. So this is why I didn't cut a piece for the pocket. The next one will be a pocket. Maybe I can do a video on that, but it's basically going to be the same steps, except that you actually get to cut an extra piece of fabric that goes on here. So instead of going straight across, you actually cut like a little rectangle. That's going to be enough for the elastic, and that creates the casing for your pockets. But as you saw, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It gives you a beautiful look for a diaper when you have two different fabrics that you want to combine together. It's pretty easy, and it actually looks very pretty. So as you can see again, you have the one stitch at the front, the two at the back, and your seams are actually encased in place. And you have a beautiful new one-piece diaper here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, the little bell thingy, turn it on so you can get notifications. And uh, yes, I hope you have a good rest of the night, and I will see you on Sunday. All right, bye.